In this video I am doing AFK and lever buster experiments. I test how AFK detection system works and I try different strategies on how they can be used to avoid being detected by lever buster. This video includes different experiments which are written in this list. If you want to check specific experiment I created timestamps on this video. First part contains basic information about AFK detection and lever buster. According to LeagueWiki lever buster will automatically kick you if you stay idle for 5 minutes. This didn't read on the wiki but in my experiments if you stay idle for 3 minutes you will get AFK warning. You can still get detected by AFK detection even if you avoid lever buster warnings. AFK punishments are different compared to normal griefing and trolling punishments. I have tested these punishments on my previous videos and if you are interested to check those videos they can be found in the description below. This part includes different experiments on how you can avoid AFK detection and lever buster. In games where you are not moving at all lever buster will kick you after you stay still for 5 minutes. Even if you use abilities lever buster will still detect you if you don't move at all. Avoiding it is really simple because you just need to move but if you only move around you will get detected by AFK detection. On this game you can see right now after finishing this game I got 1 day queue lockout because system detected me as AFK. On next experiment we are testing moving and dealing damage. It doesn't matter where you deal damage as long as you deal damage to something. After finishing this game Riot could not detect me doing any disruptive behavior in this game even though I spent whole game dealing little damage to jungle monsters. On next experiment I test if receiving damage makes you avoid AFK detection. I would let enemy minions or enemy champions deal damage to me and I avoided to deal any damage back. After playing this game Riot could not detect me doing any disruptive behavior so receiving damage makes you avoid AFK detection. On next experiment I am testing if shielding and healing allies would make you avoid AFK detection. This experiment turned out to be complicated because Riot detected disruptive behavior in my game but I did not get further AFK punishments. I repeated these same experiments on different champions and even changed accounts but results were always the same. I always stayed at spawn and used heals when there was allied champion in base. Riot always detected disruptive behavior but it did not gave me further AFK punishments so it might be that I did not get detected as AFK but maybe Riot just wants to mess with my experiment. I am aware that there is a bug where Riot detects you doing disruptive behavior even if you are not trolling or griefing so it might also affect this. On other account Riot did not gave me any kinds of punishments when going AFK. After testing multiple champions I found out that Soraka is the best champion for this kind of trolling. Only thing you need to do is to get level 6 and you can spam your ultimate every time it's up. I only used my ultimate and moved around in base after getting level 6. Using Soraka makes you completely avoid the disruptive behavior detection. Here are the results for this experiment. Avoiding lever buster is really simple because you only need to move around. Avoiding AFK detection requires you to also deal or receive damage or heal or shield you allies. Remember that Riot may detect disruptive behavior in your games but not punish you for it. On next part I am using AFK Heimerdinger strategy. Even though this strategy is fairly unique you still need to follow these basic rules to avoid being detected by lever buster. On first test I was not moving at all so game detects me as being AFK. Avoiding lever buster and AFK detection requires you to only move once for a while. I still did several other experiments which did not provide any better results. If enemies zone you off from Grump you can still do this same strategy on other jungle monsters. Riot did not detect me doing disruptive behavior and some players tried to ticket report me but I did not get banned but instead other players did. <laughs> Sometimes there was disruptive behavior but it didn't lead into any kinds of punishments. On next part I am testing AFK Yuumi strategy. Key part in this strategy is to build Knight's Vow because it makes you receive damage and it prevents you being marked by AFK detection. 
At the start of the game I attach to my jungler and use my heal about once a minute to avoid being detected as AFK. Not using heal or dealing damage marks you as AFK. After getting Knight's Vow you no longer need to use heal because Knight's Vow deals damage to you so it prevents you being detected as AFK. Knight's Vow also grants you assists even if you stay AFK. Only thing you need to do is to reattach to your ally if they recall or die. I played two games as AFK Yuumi and none of those games were detected as disruptive behavior and I didn't receive low priority Q so playing as AFK Yuumi is not detectable. Next part of this video is my gift for all of you Toxic Draven Wait, mains out there. What the fuck? I got inspiration for this from a Toxic Draven in one of my previous videos who got mad at me and went AFK while avoiding Lever Buster. Sadly he lost his mind and decided to say naughty things to me so I ticket reported him and he got 14 days ban. If your team pisses you off instead of intentional feeding and risking on getting your account banned I found out that going AFK is better choice to punish your team while avoiding to get any kinds of punishments. When doing this riot did not detect me doing any kinds of disruptive behavior so this really works. Remember to always move once for a while and when your ultimate is up you should use it on minions so you avoid being detected by lever buster. If you forget to move then lever buster will detect you like I got in this game so I got low priority Q for 5 games. I want to prove this really works so I did the same thing in those 5 low priority Q games and if I do not get higher punishment levels I claim you are safe from lever buster while doing this. After playing those 5 low priority Q games I check if my low priority Q went away. As you can see I don't have low priority Q anymore after I went AFK on all of those games. Only punishment I received from trolling all of those games was 3 day chat restriction. I wanted to take things even further and I decided to ticket report this account with my other ban testing account. I gave griefing as a reason in hopes of getting 14 days ban to this account and not just low priority Q. If we look closer I describe clearly what I have been doing and even told Riot support to look at that account's match history because if we take a look I have been only trolling with this account and Riot support could easily give 14 days ban from those games. I don't even know what has this riot support employee thought when they have seen ban test account 1 reporting ban test account, those name similarities already make this ticket report really suspicious. After logging back to league I did not get banned and when I went into queue I didn't even get low priority queue. I am not sure if this kind of trolling would actually avoid ticket reporting but afk trolling has been great addition to my strategies. AFK trolling is great addition to trolling because you can create lots of new strategies with different champions. Swain also works great as trolling champion because you can use your W to deal damage to jungle camps while you stay in base. My team got really mad at me and this ergot decided to ticket report my account. I play this game on same day I released this video but I will pin my comment and after 2 days I will tell you if I got banned because of his ticket report. After finishing this game there was disruptive behavior but again it did not lead into any punishment. Anyone watching this video can create new AFK trolling strategies. You just need to remember those basic rules so you are not getting detected as AFK. If you come up with new champions what you could use for AFK trolling you should write it in the comments below so it would help me and other trolls watching this video find new ways to troll.